sound wasn't good, but we fixed the sound problem. I think, uh, exactly. All right. <laughs> hey, we're feeling the force here. All right, so we got to start with... <laughs> what was your inspiration for doing this film? And by the way, before you answer, great film. I finally had a chance to see it. Oh, great, thank you. So, what, what, the question was, what was the inspiration behind it? Well, Ryan Denny was the inspiration behind it. Sheldon's a screenwriter, so he, he's the one that got the first inspiration. So I, yeah, I think it was just a story that had touched us growing up, and it was important to us, and whenever you're going to make a movie, hopefully you have a chance to make one that touches you and your heart, and Ryan's story was that for us. Right. That's where we started. Now, there was one thing that I'm actually curious about. I think there's one line that kind of defines it, and it's before you kind of get the twist on uh, Glenn Morshaw's uh, character. But it's about, oh, and there he is right there. <laughs> we'll fit everybody in. But it's the question of, when you're talking to the jury, did he deserve it? Do you feel like that's the moral question of this entire story? Uh, to me, to me it's a, there's an easy answer to that question. It's if, if you turn the tables, you know, would, would the other guy have been convicted of murder? You know, and that's kind of the question we ask the audience to ask themselves. And, you know, I think that's, we can let the audience figure that out. That was, that was the thing that stuck out with me. You know, when we did our research on this, there was a 2020 episode with Elizabeth Marcus, and she's talking to the attorney that, that Glenn's playing, Warren Clark. And towards the end of the interview, the 2020 episode, uh, Elizabeth Marcus says to uh, Warren Clark, uh, if the tables have been turned, I was, I was a football player been killed by the punk rocker, do you think the outcome would have been different? And he says, absolutely. You can tell she was kind of like, you know, a bit by her reaction to something. And she goes, absolutely. And she goes, why is that? And he said, because appearance matters. She goes, appearance matters. It matters in Amarillo, Texas, and it matters in New York City. Do you still think that's true today? I think it's very true today. I don't think that it should. I don't think that there's a, our culture is big on judging a book by its cover, and I think that you know, shouldn't be given a fair chance. You've got to get to know people to do it, right. more than face value. You've know, right. got, you got to keep it. You ask Dave when he's, uh, you know, dressed his character versus being Dave, and how he was treated by the people that's around him. Very, very, that's a good story right there. Right. Because absolutely it's different. Okay, so before they rush everybody off, we got to get to our nerdy question. And I know you're used to playing generals, but I'm going to start with you on this question. If you, uh, this weird, okay. <laughs> if you could be a superhero or supervillain, what would your power be and why? Uh, I can't name the character, but I would be... I would be a superhero that filled people with confidence because I think it's important for people to feel fulfilled and fully blossom in their skin. All right, cool. How about you? So I keep him close to me. I like to feed off his confidence. How about you? Uh, well, like I said the last time you asked me, if I had a superpower, it would be to uh, take away all the pain and suffering from children and uh, okay. the advocate of children as a father. What about you? Do you have one? Well, I've uh, recently moved to Mexico to help out local people, so I'm all about improving the opportunity they have on a day-to-day -day basis. When I can make a family of six go from one bedroom to a two-bedroom, I see like a lot of a lot of people, but to them, it's like that. Okay. Great. It's okay to say I like to fly. <laughs> Simple. Yeah, I know. We all would. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. Thank you.